Right, so ultra simple pheasant trap using chicken wire. All I've done so far is I've just made a tunnel. If you want to know the size, this one is about nine inches diameter. This will probably be minimum, I'd say. Maybe go bigger. And at the minute, it's just the same length as the roll was, which is probably four foot, I'd say. Well, one one meter, or about three and a half foot. So all I've done made a tube of it which just wrap this round and then just wrap wrap some of these round itself you'd be surprised how, how well that holds and then first of all one end I'm just going to scrunch it up to block off one end of it you could put a piece over if you wanted to but there's no point it's all right this is good scrunching it up and then if you can get any of the pieces to wrap round do it if not you might just want to tie a bit of string through it just to make sure it holds Sometimes you can wrap these round, wrap it round itself, so it won't, it won't come undone. Like that, wrap that round there. So that's one end done, and then the other end is open. Now this end, which is open, you want to get another piece of chicken wire and see if you can kind of scrunch it up a bit so it will fit down inside it. So it's kind of, it's hard to see on camera, it's kind of coming like a funnel. <coughs> Hopefully you can see that. See that one's gone down to about there now. Now, I'm going to wrap that round and we sometimes tuck these over like this and hold it in place. It's too simple, you don't really need much stuff to do this with. You don't really even need much wire. So I'm just bending this round, folding it over. Any bits at the bottom just attach them so that's all solid so now what I do get a pair of pliers and start cutting some of these low down so 
So you can open it up. And then flap them inwards. Hopefully you can see that. So there's the flap. And then, essentially that's done. Now you can do this so the flap is lower. So that the animal pushes it up to go under. And when he walks back this end, he'll stand on it all and push it all down. Or you can do it more like a funnel. And if he goes in, he shouldn't be able to find his way out anyway. So essentially, that is a really cheap, easy to make pheasant trap. And once you've done that, you put this on the floor, you could peg it with some bits of wood, bait at the back, pheasant pushes it way in and then gets caught in there. So you're kind of essentially using the same method of how gamekeepers catch their pheasants, or well not catch their pheasants but get their pheasants back in their pens. They have these kind of things on the fences. Um, the only thing I would say is got to remember that Pheasant catching is technically illegal because technically all pheasants belong to someone. So if you're catching them to kill them and eat them, that's illegal unless you've got permission. Um, but if you was relocating pheasants because they was being a nuisance, you know, you didn't want them in your garden or something, you could probably use something like this and then set them free somewhere else as long as you're not being cruel or anything or the other situation you could use them in is a crap hit the fan situation you know urban suburban survival you know end of society whatever you can make some of these because i don't say survival situation because um you're not necessarily going to come across chicken wire so but if you did you could make one Uh, the other method I have done with this is similar to this but the chicken wire has come more down at the slope like I said just some more of a flap so they push under the flap and then get their way out but either way will work good alright cheers for watching see you later